perfect tools for highway robbery. <laughs> Two guns and a license to practice medicine. <laughs> Oh, I practiced. Every Sunday after golf, I sneak into the garage for an hour and twirl my guns. <laughs> Lord, he's a closet cowboy. <laughs> what now, Liz? I want to apologize for lying, Maud. I am diabetic. So could I borrow a cup of saccharin? <laughs> oh, come in, come oh, in, oh, come oh, in. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Maud, I left the turkey salad in your fridge. Isn't this exciting? Oh, and I left a note on our door telling Duke where we are. Uh, what's the matter? Couldn't he pick up your trail? And luckily, I remembered to bring this. It's Arthur's prized possession. Duke sent it to him personally. Arthur calls it an American Duke on a London bridge. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, Viv, but that's not the right place for it. I have the perfect spot. Oh. <laughs> John Wayne? Can't you see he's too short? <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> Walter, listen. Walter, what happened to your bald spot? <laughs> Walter, your bald spot is covered with black fuzz. <laughs> it's the latest thing in hair pieces, Lord. <laughs> Man, my barber loaned it to me so I look good for Duke. Walter, it's the year of Kojak. Bald is beautiful. <laughs> Time, everybody. Oh, now, listen. Now, spread out. Everybody's up. All right, now, everybody look alive. Smile. And whatever you do, try to look American. Now, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it, hold it. I want to warn you. This is not all going to be fun and games. I, for one, intend to question Mr. Wayne on some of the important issues of the day. Attaboy, Grandma. No, this is not an occasion to discuss politics or the issues of the day. This visit is purely patriotic. Patri patriotic? Arthur, he is here to publicize his new movie so it'll make more money. What could be more patriotic than that? <laughs> Remember, Marty, what's good for John Wayne is good for America. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do not believe it. Have you all lost your sense of values? Yes, I'm not... A movie star is a movie star. John Wayne is no different from Donald Duck, except he's not quite as good an actor. <laughs> I mean, if I can't have a meaningful discussion with the Duke of Wayne, I have no intention of standing around here mooning over some celebrity like the rest of you. I am the only one here who is behaving in a calm, sane, rational <laughs> Good thing you're not a surgeon. <laughs> I'm Dr. Harmon's best friend, Walter Findley, the appliance dealer. Uh -huh. If your horse ever needs an electric feed bag, I can probably get it for you wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's the little woman? Gee, Duke, it takes a big man to call more the little woman. <laughs> She's my wife. Oh, well, uh... This is Vivian, uh, my, my ball and chain. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Hello. What is it you were going to say, Mrs. Uh... 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 Maud. <laughs> oh? Would you like to say hello to some of your admirers? Why don't we just come right over here? Hey, maybe we can get a picture around the bar. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be nice if we could have a picture. That's John Wayne. That's John Wayne. In okay. my house, big movie star. We call him Duke. And this is my son Philip, who's your biggest fan. All right, Philip. Put it there, Mr. Wayne. Well, I don't know. You look pretty strong. <laughs> hey. I'm 
sorry, Mr. Wayne. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, that's all right, son. We need fellas like you with strong hands and short hair. <laughs> Grandma, can I see you a minute? Nope, what do you have? With all the cattle you've been around, you must have drunk a lot of milk. Well, unfortunately, I never found a cow that did give bourbon. <laughs> Well, give him a bourbon. How'd you like to sit down and take a load off the seat? Oh, well, thanks. Hey, funny place to hang a picture. <laughs> it's a good likeness, sir, Duke. You think I look like that? Uh-huh. Well, then you hung it in the right place. <laughs> there you go, Duke. Oh, thank you. Boy. Mm, what's this? Oh, a hairy coaster. <laughs> Please, Grandma. I promised all my friends, you and John Wayne, we're going to have a big showdown. You want to make a liar out of me, do oh, you? Philip, but John Wayne is a guest in our house. I can't embarrass him. Why not? They never stopped you before. <laughs> Philip, this is different. John Wayne is a big movie star. But, Grandma, you always tell me to stand up for my principles. How come you don't stand up for yours? Um, <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I'm afraid that I, I have to apologize for my grandson. Oh, that's all right. You, you see, I, I promised him that I was going to ask you a few questions. Well, then why don't you go ahead and ask me a few questions, and I'll see if I can answer them. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, to begin with, I was going to uh, discuss politics. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't discuss politics with women. <laughs> Well, uh, then I was going to ask you to discuss gun control. Oh, well, I'm very sorry, but I can't discuss gun control with women. <laughs> oh, well, uh, <laughs> what do you discuss with women? I can't discuss what I discuss with women in front of a lady. <laughs> you see, Philip, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Well, I love what you had to say against women in that speech at Harvard, Duke. Oh, well, I didn't say anything against women. All I said was that I thought they had a right to work any place they wanted to, as long as they had dinner on the table when I got home. <laughs> as long as dinner was on the table when you got home? Let me tell you something, Shorty. <laughs> oh, the hell with it. Let's dance. <laughs> you know, I've spent thousands of hours in dark theaters loving you, Duke. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> Powers Booth stars in a guy on a tragedy, the story of Jim Jones, the first of a two-part special. The story traces Jim Jones' early ministry through his rise as a powerful political force to the corruption which led to tragedy. That's tomorrow at 9, following the White Shadow at 8, here on your TV, too.